10% over asking isn't enough? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with EXP Realty, and this is a crazy market that we're in. There's little doubt on that fact. We're seeing shortages in all walks of our life, so I guess it's not a surprise that, well, quite frankly, housing is no different. But is now offering 10% or more not enough in order to get your offer accepted? This past weekend, we wrote four offers for our clients. They were great offers. All of them were 10% above asking price, at least 10% above asking price, with relaxed home inspection contingencies between $5,000 to $7,500, flexible closing dates, suitable housing clauses. I mean, these were great great offers. One offer, we went 20% over asking. On this house, there were 69 other competing offers. 69, 70 offers in total. We didn't get that one. At that point, the offer that was accepted most likely was all cash with no contingencies. Heck, they might even be naming their first child after the sellers. Another offer we wrote was a little over 10% above asking price, all cash offer with flexible closing dates, $7,500 home inspection threshold. But here's the kicker. That house was right next door to a sewage treatment plant, literally right next door. We lovingly referred to this house as the poo house. We confirmed there were no health issues living next to a sewage treatment plant. And our client, she had no issues with the environment and was excited to present an offer to the seller. She loved the house. We thought we had this one in the bag, but no, that wasn't even enough in order to win a poo house bid. And we didn't get the other two either. We went zero for four with all offers being at least 10% above asking price and extremely competitive terms. And as a side note, we did later in the week get one of those offers accepted, or I should say one of those clients accepted. She called because she fell in love with a house that had just come on the market. She just fell in love with all the beautiful pictures, perfect location, and she asked if she could do a sight unseen offer. We offered cash with a $7,500 home inspection threshold contingency and literally a blank closing date. We sent it over to the sellers and said, fill in whatever closing date you want. The sellers accepted. It's not something that we can really recommend doing, doing a sight unseen offer. It's a good example of how crazy hot this market is. So why these stories? Because I think it's really important to really hear the realities of the current marketplace and ultimately set your expectations accordingly. A buyer today, they need to be ultra competitive in the marketplace. There are no quote unquote deals out there. The deal is the cheap interest rates where we're locked in for the next 30 years. If a house has multiple offers, don't waste yours or the seller's or the agent's time coming in below asking price. It's not going to happen. We actually have this bullseye chart, which is really helpful for our clients in determining, hey, how much do I need to offer? If a house is above your price range or even at the top of your price range, then maybe don't go and view it right away. Maybe wait until after that initial weekend. That's when you take a look. What this will do is ultimately end up saving you a lot of time and ultimately a lot of heartbreak in the end. Now, I got this $1,000 because once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give this $1,000 to the ASBCA. So be sure you drop a hammer on that subscribe button below if you found this information helpful and you want to help save some cats and dogs. I'm Jeff up with eXp Realty. Should you need me or have any questions, best number to get me at is 617-480-2600 or online at boston2.com. Thanks for watching.